Thinking of sending a young relative some Christmas cash this week? We know they like to get it, oh, but yeah. before you put that money in a card, we do have an important warning for you. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has the story of one very frustrated mom, so you don't waste your money. Over the next few days, parents and grandparents everywhere will be stuffing Christmas cards with fives, tens, and even $20 bills, but you've got to be careful because the chances are some of those cards aren't going to make it to the recipient. Rena Giselle is tired of receiving Christmas and birthday cards with something missing. That something being cash from her kids. So when he opens it, you know, kids like to see the cash fall out. That something being cash for her kids. When this card recently arrived for her son, she noticed the corner torn and the cash grandma enclosed nowhere to be found. It's ripped. I mean, it's just tampered with. I don't know if they can actually tell if it's cash in here or not. Her mom confirmed she put money in it. Yeah, my grandparents and family members and friends like to send cash to my son through the mail for like the holidays and his birthdays. And this year they're not coming through. The problem is if you put cash inside a holiday greeting card, especially more than one bill in thickness, a good thief can often feel that card and tell there's money inside. Just this past month, a postal worker admitted to stealing $5,000 in cash from cards in Wisconsin. Cash is also stolen by porch pirates, the thieves who run off with our Amazon boxes. The Postal Service suggests you don't mail cash. It recommends instead to use personal or cashier's checks, money orders, or send the cash by registered mail where you can insure it. Rena is putting her parents on money transfer apps like Venmo and Zelle. I would suggest using apps because you have the money within a minute. Because a holiday gift is no fun if a Grinch gets it first. And if you insist on sending cash over the holidays, try and wrap it in extra paper. That way somebody with curious fingers won't be able to feel what's inside. And of course, that way you don't waste your money. For now, I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Great tips, Amira, thank you.